Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a video about the laser film video disc player, the LFS 4400, made by the McDonnell Douglas Corporation. You're looking at the owner's manual for uh, this unit, and in a moment I'll actually show you the, uh, the unit itself. I decided to go ahead and sell it because uh, it's just collecting dust and I want to give somebody else the chance to uh, check it out and maybe uh, spend some time with it. When I first got it, I uh, did all the research I could to try and find information about the format. If you look on Wikipedia, it shows a little, little snippet on there about the format. When I uh, scoured the internet, I originally found this ad that was in very low resolution and I went ahead and printed it out and then I attempted to recreate it and as you can see here this is what I came up with was this one here and uh, because I really couldn't find a picture of the actual disc as you can see over here I put a picture of a, a, an RCA video disc in the background but anyway this ad what I think it said was video disc when you can Video discs you can change whenever you change your mind. Video discs have long held many advantages over tape, but the high cost and long turnaround time of staging the information on these rigid plastic discs have made them impractical for many uses. The McDonnell Douglas engineers have perfected the process of recording video discs by projecting a light beam onto flexible film. New visuals and detail or data can be added or deleted using a speedy and less expensive photographic process. It's a practical system that opens the door to dozens of new applications in training, marketing, and product acceptance. We are creating breakthroughs that make a difference in the way people work and the way people live. McDonnell Douglas. For more information, contact McDonnell Douglas at P.O. Box 526, St. Louis, Missouri, 63178. And then there's the... Uh, McDonnell Douglas logo that I pasted on there. So they did have a uh, a chameleon or some kind of lizard on their ad, and uh, I couldn't find one just like it, so you can see mine on there. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at a unit here. Here it is. This is the Laser Film LFS 4400. And we've got uh, a headphone jack with... Uh, you know, just a touch volume up and down. Uh, audio selection, channel 1, channel 2. We've got an unload disc button. We've got a computer button. And, of course, the power button. There's a remote sensor, so I would assume that at some point it had a uh, some kind of a remote control for it. And I think that's verifiable online as well. And then there's the model number. But look at there, McDonnell Douglas. Now, I'm pretty sure that this machine was not actually made by McDonnell Douglas. It was either made by Sansui or Hitachi. So, uh, let's go ahead and move around to the back. Show you the back of it here. You have a uh, an RS-232C computer port. You've got a, uh, a big air filter for the internal cooling fan. You have a, uh, a, a screw here to uh, basically uh, lock down the shipping part of it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that's the laser that we're securing when we ship it. Shows over here some information. It's got uh, the model number, voltage, the fact that it's made in Japan, and then it's got McDonnell Douglas uh, Electronics Company in St. Charles, Missouri. We've got... Uh, some jacks here for sync input, sync output, video output, audio output, and then uh, serial number and uh, the date of manufacture, which was February 1987. You got a standard uh, AC line cord like you see in the back of a computer. So there you go. Uh, this thing is massive. It's probably, speaking of computers, it's about the size. Of a, of a Dell or other workstation uh, turned sideways. So I never was able to find any discs for this machine. Um, I even found a, a retired guy online from McDonnell Douglas and 
he said that he had worked on the project and had a couple of the discs that they used, but uh, was not willing to give them up. So I never did find a disc to play in this unit. And as we saw in the advertisement, uh, they recorded the video and audio on photographic film. So it was a little bit cheaper method at that time, but um, of course it didn't take off. And according to what you read online, McDonnell Douglas used it internally for their, um, uh, the, well, the, for their own use, we'll just say that. Uh, look here, here's the uh, power button. Let's turn it on and see what it sounds like. And you can hear the fan kicking on. The auto load door opens there. And the little uh, computer light is flashing. Let's go ahead and see if we can look inside the slot here where the discs, discs are loaded. And not sure how well you can see that. I think up at the top there you can see the hub where the uh, where it clamps down on the disc. Maybe you can see that. And that's probably our laser unit there on the very center of your screen. So we'll kind of pan over and see what we can see there. You can see that's where the disc slides in there. And I guess there's some kind of a guide there. Now it's kind of coming into focus a little bit better. We'll come up here over here to the left. Kind of hold that button down. All right. This machine, uh, very much like the RCA Selectivision system, used caddies to load the, uh, the discs in. And the difference being that you could open up the caddy and put a different photographic disc inside. And so the caddy actually had you know snaps that you could unsnap it and put the disc in and then insert it into the player. Uh, these machines did not record. Apparently there was another machine, like a master machine, that would, that would create the discs. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I remember from the research that I did on this format. So look at there, laser film. So this is uh, a piece of history, and uh, for those of you that collect this sort of thing, I'm actually selling this on eBay at the time that this video was made, and uh, somebody else is going to be the proud owner of this amazing piece of equipment. So, hope you enjoyed this small tidbit of information about the historic format that never made it, the laser film video disc player from McDonnell Douglas.